Studio 三零七，灯光美，气氛佳，使用的设备都还超级顶级。不管你是 Pro 级的专业人士，想要自己来试试看，或者是新手菜鸟需要人家引导讲解，台南的朋友想要当 Podcaster 吗？赶快过来，赶快试试看，这里 Studio 三零七，很赞。Hello, everybody! Welcome again. Today we are dressing like jobs. Yes. What, what kind of what kind of jobs you? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm a stripper. No, <laughs> I'm a construction <laughs> worker. <laughs> yeah. Was a... Yeah. Stay tuned. Maybe at the end of it, I might lose the yeah the shirt inside. Whoa! Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> If we pass the one, this is a family-friendly channel. <laughs> <laughs> But we can have a second channel if yeah. you want. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> only bros. <laughs> Bro, mo- we can go only bros. <laughs> only bros. That But- sounds really gay. Only bros. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am a construction worker. What about you? I am the guy who, after half a sex and a crazy night, wake up really early and prepare your breakfast. I thought you want to say you're Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gordon. <laughs> This is a piece of shit. Get the hell out of Get my kitchen. Get the hell out of my kitchen. <laughs> I'm a AP menu striker. It's me, Conquer. It's me, Tyler. And this is Bruce, Bruce Bond. This shirt is so tight. I think I really gained weight. <laughs> <laughs> What is the most strange job you get? It's not strange in the industry, but I didn't like it. The lighting stand in. I'm the stand in, like a really famous actor and actress, and they're busy, they're resting. I am the guy standing there for them to adjust the lights, doing nothing, just stand there. Ah,、oh, really? Yeah, I. It's a lovely job, I guess, but I just I, I don't I don't get it. The pay is good. Nope. No. Yeah, I just—it's not my thing because I love acting, and I—I I would rather not do acting and do some other、But、job. What's a famous famous actor? Hollywood actors. Hollywood actor.、Mm-hmm. You can say the name.、Mm, I don't. I'm afraid not. <laughs> 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 But that's kind of like、uh, if it's a really up to standard kind of film, they do have like lighting standing and、uh-huh, stuff like.、Uh-huh. But because I wanted to be an actor, I don't just want to you know like hang out and get to you know like have a peek of the famous actor actresses. I want to become the actor, and I don't like the the sense of self resentment. Like, why am I only standing here, have zero line? And I I don't think that's very healthy, especially for someone who really, 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 really want to be able to act in front of camera. I mean, technically, you are in front of camera, but they're they're just never rolling. So yeah, that's why I don't I don't like that job. So, what about you? What's the, is the the strangest job? I was. Dancing teacher. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dancing instructor. Dancing instructor of strippers. <laughs> For real, you're not messing with me. Yeah, I'm not messing you. In my early twenties, I was a really good dancer. Uh huh. And one day in the studio that I practice, have one gym in the in the in the first floor. So they have a kind of guys who、uh-huh. are, they are strippers. They are really nice person. And they come into they come into you say tell me bro、uh, you know what、uh, I saw you 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 are dancing because I practice alone I love to be alone sometimes so and they saw me and they tell me bro do you want to show us some choreographies because we have a job later and I told this guy okay bro if you how regularly you have this job they tell me no it's every week because every week we need to have a show and I told him okay so let me prepare one choreography and I'm going to teach you and every week we can change the steps and something like that. Oh, cute, cute, yeah. So the dance is you, you mean for like really stripping kind, like go go boy kind, or yeah? Just how、dance? you mirror you, your bottom? Oh, like how you thirst t- trapped? Yeah, how you take the chairs and you put this and then. Oh,、yeah. show me what you got, boy. Show no, me what、bro. you got. I got money. I'm an off training, bro. <laughs> I'm an off training. Okay. Well, but speaking of that, I have one experience. I didn't take the job. I didn't accept the offer, but I was offered a、Stripper. special kind of, <gasps> kind of. But basically, because I told them that we were just like chit chatting, and then I kind of. Told them that oh I think I am on quite of the I'm not a lightweight when it comes to drinking I don't get drunk easily but I think it's just genetics because my sister my mom we don't drink regularly but we just don't 
get drunk easily. And so he looked at me and said, "You look okay. You want to be in a nightclub or like a bar, and then you just stand there, be cute, and, and try to talk to customers and chill and just sit with them, and then they can pay to open a bottle of champagne, and then you can get commission uh, out yeah, of yeah. it because you can drink. But like that was yeah. But the downside of it is like you, if they want you to drink, you have to drink. So it's kind of like daily drinking. So I'm like." They, they, they say the pay the is really good. The practice make the master. <laughs> they say the pay is really good, and I was like, mm, I don't know about that, but thank you for showing your interest in me. Okay, well, talking about we were talking about、um, strippers, go go boys.、Uh, you once, you, do you have like a story about your nana that you want to share? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I heard of this story before, and I legit thought he was like flat out lying, but it appears to be true because he said that quite. <laughs> the most business woman because <laughs> she has a she what、well, she has she has a one hotel, one hotel. But when my grandfather passed away, the hotel was a little more like a sad place, like、mm -hmm. a more sad moment. So my nana was really really smart and say. I need to rent the hotel for another person,、mm -hmm. and I don't know the destiny put one guy hotel. Oh, nanny, don't worry, I, I'm going to I'm going to rent the whole hotel, and she say, well, that's okay,、mm -hmm. but tell me what are you going to do? And he, he told like a, well, I have a girls who work in this kind of industry.、Um, well, they need a one space, they need to prepare, but they don't. Do the service there in the hotel.、Uh -huh. They take the gears out.、Ah, okay, I got you. But got in, you. in the place is where the, the gears are going to take a rest, or they're going to stay. So, yeah, my nanny say, okay, if you are going to pay me, yeah. So it's more like accommodation, like a dormitory. Yeah, for the accommodation.、Girls. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. But every time you saw a lot of guys come in with nothing and go out with all everything. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So you're a, you're you're. Your grandma decided to feel a lot of happy memories in that hotel. Yeah. Ah. Okay. They create. Basically, we can say they create beautiful people for the people. <laughs> Since when you realize? Oh, grandma is doing this kind of business. Ah. Since I was、uh, around 15 years old, 16 years old, I understood about the prostitution thing. And、mm -hmm. when I saw, when I, I was sit down in the in the reception, and just looking the guys coming go out, coming go out, and I was like. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! That's self realization. <laughs> oh, this is what this is about. Yeah, I was like, and one of the time I saw my nanny in the news, <laughs> because、uh, in the in front of basically not in front but next to the the hotel in、uh -huh. the next street in the next block, have a one church. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> so the people around the church, all the scenes. <laughs> the people around the church, they demand to my nanny to to remove that place, to remove, to close to, the to place.、Empty. The reporter said, "You know what's what's going on there?" Said my nanny, "Yes, I rent the place,、uh -huh. and she with a lawyer go in that direction. We are not responsible about the what the custom do this.、Mm -hmm. If you want to go, one person need to go to the jail is the custom because the customer or the person who rent this." Is the person who decided to do this? I rent my space for one person,、uh, and that person decided, and that person go to the jail. Another one. It's getting more and more popular in Taiwan, which is、um, pet psychic. Oh yeah. They look at your pet's picture, and then they would say like, "All、oh, this." Dog has spinal injuries or terrible stomachache, or you know they are feeling depressed and stuff. You know, I'm 100% that this liar. It's not real. You think it's scam, bro? 100%. Hmm. How come? How you fucking sure that this is true? You don't know. You don't know. It's just the guy. It's 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 like a it's like a totally a scam.、Mm -hmm. Because how you make sure this guy is talking to you through things? That's kind of interesting. But quite a lot of people said that they had really. Overwhelmingly positive feedback. So it's like, oh, they even get the breed right, or like, oh, they know that she had surgery. Oh, they know that、uh, you know she's para paralyzed from the waist down, or something like that. And they just find that really, really interesting. So I'm gonna read you a very short story about some woman. She actually, so her dog passed away, and she went to like a like a pride festival or something like that, and she saw like a pet 
sidekick only charging fifty dollars, and so her and the husband thought that we need a closure, so they bring out the the photo of it, and then the sidekick said like, um, she got the breed wrong, and tragically the dog passed away, and the reason was because she fell from the third floor of a friend's house. But the the sidekick said that, oh, he died from liver failure and heart attack, and I was like, what the fuck? But at the end of it, she said that um. Oh, your dog really loved you, and she's gonna come back, you know, as another dog, and blah blah blah. And she said that I don't know. She thought that it was probably a total scam or some other things, but some people said that no, the pet psychic is just a really terrible cold reader. Have you heard of cold reading? It was like they start really broad, and then they look at your facial expression and your like tiny mini gesture of it, and then they started to go more narrow, narrow, narrow. And typically, when you're a really good cold reader. You get most of the thing right, and that can appear magical or really strangely satisfying. But um, I do I do believe in cold reading as a technique that that's most the pet psychics use. But um, that's kind of like a thing. The tarot and the fortune teller and the feng shui teacher, feng shui师傅 the consultant. You know, when you're trying to buy a house, they would tell you, like, you know, you can't put this table、yeah. here, or you can't buy the house here because the cross, the intersection, or something like that. Do you believe in that? No. You're just like, I love this house. I'm a fun motherfucking buy it. Well, not exactly. <laughs> this. I'm. A, I mean, I, the minimal thing is, I、uh-huh. need to know if nobody died there. <laughs> of course. Now we're going to move to the bros bon react. Bros bon react. The question that we ask the public is: What's one thing that you wanted to tell your boss if there would be no consequence whatsoever? Oh, by the way, I th- I thought that people would be saying hey to the boss, but half of some people they yeah, they, actually, they were nice. nice. Yeah, he's very 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 nice. Yeah, Attractive that people want to, and I want to be your employee. <laughs> <laughs> We are getting gayer and gayer for episode. <laughs> But that's motivate. I mean, the good way is that motivate. That motivate you to work. That motivate to you to study. Because I thought if I can impress my teacher, maybe, oh yeah, yeah, that's always yeah, 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 always happen,、yeah. always happen. So it's kind of like the same. When I started learning English, I was really terrible at first, but. My teacher at the time, she was so gentle, so nice, like so angelic, yeah. And every time, there was even one time I cheated in a test, but it was because I literally had no time to practice,、uh, yeah. to to prepare for it. And she caught me, but she did not say anything at the time during the test. But after that, she asked me like, "Tyler, come see me." And then she did not blame me for it, and she did not just like flat out start scolding me. She said, "Are you having enough sleep?" She started about caring, and then I know that I got caught. And then she said, "I saw what you did, and it's okay. I'm gonna give you a pass this time, but please don't do it ever again. You're a good kid." And she totally changed my life. Yeah, and that's why I started learning Chinese. Oh no, no, no! I started <laughs> learning English. <laughs> This girl said that, 希望老板的化疗成功，快点痊愈，快回来公司作证。以往对公司对您有超多的抱怨，全部都归零，只愿您身体健康。I'm really surprised that we was going for the way that maybe you need to, you want to say something really bad to your boss like、mm-hmm. ah you know I'm fired I don't want to do but actually in this time the boss are really quiet they're really nice、mm-hmm. and if you create this kind of community that can be support you because your people support your dream. Like a boss, I think back in the day we have more dictator kind of boss.、Yeah. Like, no, you do what I say.、Um, but nowadays, more and more bosses they are willing to, you know, open up themselves and just listen to different. Like, if the the employees they have constructive opinions and they're actually happy to hear that, and I think that's that's healthy. We have a spicy one here, huh? 不要每次我递东西给你都要摸到人家的手，你这个死变态。Bro, but actually, it's a lot in work, in workplace, right? Ah,、uh, yeah. touching people, getting all handsy and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to demand you, <laughs> and this is recorded, bro. This is recorded. When you want to fire a complaint, talk to the HR, which we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? Sexual harassment in workplace. Bro, I, I don't know. I can tell you nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, nice arm, huh? I'm going to the gym, baby. I think you need to affront everything. So you need to make sure I don't want your dick. That's all. But those kind of things happen quite a lot. Just like, please stop doing that. Can you please 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 is the bathroom and it was twice was really fucked was really disgusting sucked, really disgusting and if i pull like these photos in the internet i can destroy they're this done thing. yeah they're done totally 100 i can i can show you i can show okay, you okay show me show me you can see oh, <laughs> <laughs> guys i before seeing that picture i had a preparation of it's gonna be disgusting but i did not anticipate it's gonna be that disgusting wow yeah. and it's not the first time wait, wait. then the person who is at fault is the person who took that gigantic shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow it's really clotted but it's not the first time too it's not the first, but the person who clean is a really cute older grandma so but I, still it's their jaw they should have done that better but he's a grand I know. How you can? How so you, you can? Yeah, you were imagine what if she gets fired? Then? Yeah, I. It's I, really hard for her to find another job. Yeah, totally. Well, you, maybe you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe actually, that's not the question. That's not the answer. But it's in the way. Uh -huh. Maybe I. Maybe if I open one company of cleaning efficiently. Um, with a really good employees, I'm. For sure, I'm going to be the best in Taiwan because in Taiwan, the people who clean is a mass, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's the older gears. Yeah. But if I make a one company efficiently with the younger boys mm -hmm. who make a 100% of efficiently in that, it's going to be the best. They do have that in, in America. Yeah. It's like you can in hire a, a bunch of, actually, they're half naked, like really muscular guy, and then they come in to do all the chores. I'm like, talking about efficiently. You put yeah. that like half but naked. That's a, that's a big selling point. Yeah. Like younger effective and very efficient and so everybody that's all for today thank you that is all for bros bon react yeah. and thank you everybody for today it's me concord it's me tyler and this is bros bon thank Bye -bye. you guys for all the comments and feedback <laughs>